It is July 29th, 2025, and we had two medium-sized to large earthquakes happen along two different sides or ends of the Indo-Australian plate. The first one in Southeast Asia is located at 6 degrees north and 93 degrees east, which puts it just off the coast of the Nicobar Islands, a bunch of islands in Indonesia, and this is in the Adaman Sea, and it's right next to a three-plate system which tectonically is amazing. Now, this earthquake was 6.5 magnitude at a depth of 6.2 miles, and it was caused by the Adaman Trench and subduction zone between the Indo-Australian plate, which is the major plate, a microplate called the Burma microplate, and the Sunda minor plate. So there's three plates actively moving and hitting each other in this area and causing these earthquakes. This is the location of the third largest earthquake in history back in 2004. Now we're off to our second earthquake along this Indo-Australian plate. And it's down south of New Zealand, in between New Zealand and Antarctica, along a ridge called the Maguire Ridge. And it was a 6.9 magnitude earthquake and a depth of 19 miles. So both were shallow earthquakes. And the epicenter is located at 57 south and 157 east. Now, this tectonically is near the Maguire Triple Junction, which is between the divergent plate boundary of the Pacific Antarctic Ridge and connecting with the plate boundary, in this case a transform plate boundary, between the Indo-Australian plate and the Pacific plate. And that continues up to the South Island of New Zealand, where it does transition from a transform plate boundary into the North Island of New Zealand, which is then a convergent plate boundary. And then the Ring of Fire technically begins at this point in the Pacific. So two decently sized earthquakes on two opposite ends of the Indo-Australian plate. 